Today I'm going to show you and teach you how to draw an anime girl. If you want, you can follow along with me. So, yeah, you'll need a pencil, an eraser, a micron, and some colors to color with. Um, I'm going to start with a basic circle, a dot in the middle, and then a line. That's where you're going to draw, and your chin is going to be. Now I'm going to draw the neck and the shoulders. And I'm going to erase my guidelines so that it's cleaner for me. And I just wiped my paper away. Now I'm going to use a reference for the hair. So I'm going to draw a dot and then I'm going to start doing my bangs and my hair. I like to add fringe because it looks more natural. And I'm going to start the hairline right there. And then I'm going to just keep going. I'm probably not going to draw an ear. It doesn't look good. I'm not going to draw an ear. So I'm going to keep drawing, drawing, drawing the hair. Now I'm going to measure it. Um, I have the hair length. Everything's good. Um, I'm going to start um, probably adding more line to the hair. And maybe I'm going to test my eye on what I want to do. I'm probably going to do, I'm doing the um, winky face right there that I circled. And I'm going to draw it. And if your eye looks too small, it's totally a-okay because all you gotta do is just erase it, do it again, maybe even bigger. If you have a small head, or if you're doing like small head, yeah, like like I said, you have a small head, you'll do smaller eyes. If you have a bigger head, you'll do probably bigger eyes. If you do chibi or kawaii, I would say you would do big eyes. Now I'm gonna start inking. Um, along the process, I like, yeah, so inking is fun. All you gotta do is just follow the lines, follow what you want, and don't follow what you don't want. Um, I'm gonna add little streaks of hair flying around, add little lines to add to the hair, and it looks amazing. So, I am, my hands get sweaty a lot, um, now I'm going to do the eyes, which I'll have lots of detail in. And if you do like to switch into a thinner pen to outline it, you're allowed to. But I like, I'll just use the same pen and I'm gonna let it air dry for a couple seconds. Here's a picture. <laughs> now I'm gonna grab my eraser and take off the tape and I'm gonna just erase the blue lines. And then I'm gonna put the tape back on. And I'm going to use um, the cotton pearl to color her skin. Um, and yeah, so coloring the skin means you have to have everything very leveled. Make sure, oh yeah, and then of course if you get some micron on the, uh, uh, I mean on the Copic or on any marker that you use, you want to wipe it off. So now I'm going to use the heat. It's a pinkish purpley kind of color. Now I colored it. And now I colored everything. Now I'm doing the background. I have to make sure every dot is equal. So this is the final product. We used the um, ash rose for the hair, the heat for the shirt, the cotton pearl for the skin, and the background we used pure pink, the eyes, we used sky blue, powder blue, and mint blue, and we used a micron to outline it, and we used a blue pencil. I used a blue pencil, so yay! Thank you for watching this. Bye guys. Done! Is it still recording? It says recording.